Hey, welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 8, verses 6 through 9 now today. Let's read it out. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people in all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them, according to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even to this day, with which they have forsaken me and served other gods, so they are doing to you also. Now, therefore, heed their voice. However, you shall solemnly forewarn them and show them the behavior of the king who will reign over them. All right, so we're going to pause there for a moment, and that's our section for today. So the people said, your children are not doing right as, in terms of leading after you. We're going to go out away from this period, this uh, plan for the judgeship, the judges leading. And we want a king like all the other nations. And all the elders of Israel approached Samuel and said, we need to have a king like all the other nations. So Samuel is uh, very very unhappy about this. He prays to God about it, and God says, you know what? They haven't rejected you. They have rejected me from ruling over them. They have rejected me, verse 7, that I should not reign over them. So having a king is, is not to have uh, God reigning over you. It is to have another, a human person who is above you rather than God being immediately above you. Yes, the judge was a human person, but he ruled exactly at God's guidance. This is different a monarchy is different than judges. And so here they have it. God's, God now communicates to Samuel and says, this really isn't anything new, is it? These people have lost the plan. But he says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do it this way, which basically means to me and you what? We can kind of already see it ahead of time, can't we? God is going to uh, bring these people on a kind of a, pro a learning process. But he's going to have to list out to them the way it will be under a monarchy as opposed to the way it has been under the judges. And by the way, well, we probably should save that for tomorrow, but just say the judges is a lot lower cost than monarchies or republics. This is going to be like a shift to plan B. This isn't God's plan, but the people are calling for it and so many times, God gives us what we ask for, even though we sort of wind up saying later, that was a mistake on our part. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, help us to always uh, seek your leadership. May you always reign over us, Lord. It's hard sometimes with the different options we face or the seeming lack of options, but we can be distinct from the world, from the nations of the world and you can be our king over us, Lord. Please, we pray that in these last days we will not forsake you, that, that we will have you reign over us. Please, Lord, thank you for hearing our request. May we not make the mistake that the Hebrews are just about to make and have all the hard learning that comes with it. Now, Lord, be our king, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So God is ready to be our king. I guess the question really is, are we really ready to be his servants?